Hey YouTube, your 2001 Tacoma PCV valve is right here. There's no good videos showing you. This was on top. All right, just a vacuum line. Um, it's right here on the back of the motor. All right, there's no good videos on YouTube, so I figured I'd make one. And the vacuum switching valve that changed out is in here. It's sitting there, it has the Phillips head and a 12 millimeter bolt. Getting the bolt out um, was very hard, so it was easier for me to take the Phillips head out, but putting the Phillips head back in is a total pain, so be careful with that one. Um, to get in there, it's doable, but you have to really get your hand in here, unplug the plugs, then get the two vacuum lines all right that's definitely not the easiest the vacuum lines come off pretty easy but but yeah definitely not the easiest thing to replace there's just the one plug and two vacuum lines so overall not too bad um i'm chasing a p0171 code the emissions code so um it's definitely annoying um i also pulled the uh EFI fuse to reset the um, the uh, short term and long term uh, fuel injection memory. Um, it hasn't solved any problems either, so it just keeps coming back. Usually around 150 miles, it comes back. I bought a bunch of other stuff, so we'll see what fixes it, and I'll let you all know. All right, here's my new exhaust pipe that I have to throw in. New O2 sensor, I just gotta get hardware for it and a gasket. But here's that uh, vacuum switching valve. All right, just another view of it. Two vacuum lines and a plug with the tab on the side, just push it in and slide it off. Not too bad. This is the positive crank ventilation or pressure crank ventilation, PCV, whatever it stands for. Um, it acts almost as like a check valve in a way like a one-way valve so if like you can't really hear it but it there's a piece in there that slides in like up and down and it closes it so the pressure can go one way it's all that that's doing but as you can see mine's old and nasty so the brand new one can maybe help i'll let you know we shall see okay today's a new day just a cap off to this code issue i just changed out the egr valve um it wasn't too bad there's two bolts that hook up to the um pipe that goes around to the other side of the exhaust manifold and then there's two more in a kind of tough area um underneath on the back side but you have a couple vacuum lines uh, no, nothing too crazy it wasn't that bad so change that out and then um, to go over everything I did for this code, I did a new MAF sensor, new air filter, checked all the vacuum lines. We did um, the new uh, valve down there like we talked about, a new PCV valve under here. And I didn't really play with the charcoal canister, I just checked all my um, vacuum lines and then I went with a new exhaust manifold because mine was cracked and then I went and installed a new downpipe and a new O2 sensor right, for the upstream all new piping did this O2 sensor and all new piping new muffler and then all the way out the back and then just so you know this o2 sensor goes up through here and that's under the carpet under the passenger seat and then i haven't gotten a muffler or a, uh, a little exhaust tip but i put that on and then the pipe i got had this bracket but i didn't have a bracket so i went to autozone and i bought this little drop down piece and I used the two bolts through this on there for now. It works, whatever. I don't care that much. 
The only thing that's annoying me is this will hit the frame. So I got to figure out a solution for that. But other than that, it's good. I don't know if it fixed the check engine light though. So we will drive it and see if it fixed everything. I'll let you know. Okay, so after uh, the test drive, um, changing that EGR valve, I think is without a doubt, one of my biggest um, problem solvers. So I was going up hills and losing um, acceleration. It felt almost as if um, the engine was like sputtering, just trying to work harder, had to use more throttle to get up the hill and, and things like that. Um, especially at highway speeds around 60, 70 miles an hour. And it was almost like, like the like the diff one. It was like, like, I don't know, just something in the rear end it almost felt like. But um, it was a power loss issue. And hands down, the EGR valve and all these O2 sensors and stuff, um, I, none of this fixed it. But I'm almost certain that EGR valve just solved all my problems because it drives so much better now. Um, I'll make a follow-up if it doesn't fix it, but I'm pretty sure that solved the problem. Also, uh, 2023 wheels do fit on a 2001. So... Um, there's direct bolt up. I'm four wheel drive. So as long as you have the uh, six lug, um, that'll match any Tacoma. So yeah, 2023 wheels on an 01 and that EGR valve definitely solved my problems. Um, I didn't have any vacuum hoses that looked like they were leaking. So I didn't change any of them. I didn't inspect them all, but none of that was that bad. Um, next on my to-do list is brakes. Obviously, my brake reservoir looks like shit, so probably do that. I also have engine mounts because the whole truck, when I'm in drive, like shakes a little bit, and I'm pretty sure my engine mounts are, are rusted out and shot. So I have new ones in the truck. I just have to install them. But yeah, that's uh, how you solve the P1120, the P0171 code, and multiple other codes. So that's it. So I hope this helps. It's, um, again, I also did the gas cap. I, I forgot to say something about that. So some people said that the uh, gas cap can, um, that's that pipe I took out. But I changed the gas cap. Some people said that that causes issues, but that didn't do shit, so whatever. But yeah, that's it. Hope that helps. Take care.